Hello and welcome to Jonesy Mom TV. I am Natasha, the Jonesy Mom, and this is a series I call I Try IG Nail Trends. In this series, I'm going to try to copy or redo trends I see on IG. You can join the fun by commenting below whether it was fab or flop. So this is today's trend. I'm going to put it somewhere on the screen. <laughs> and we are going to try to attempt this this trend i've seen it a few times on ig it is very striking very beautiful and um I, I actually i think i did try to practice it like once before when i first saw it it did not come out well so hopefully today um it comes out pretty good all right so here i have two nails already prepped and we're going to try this trend um i think i'm actually going to buff them out a little bit i don't think it's necessary but i'm going to do it and See, this is what happens when you're with the practice hand. But my nails were already done. By the way, let's let's take a moment to just enjoy the gummy bears that are on my nails right now. So cute. I got them from Shein. Um, I put a little uh, holographic powder in the back. And same, it's like a more pro-like on the tip. And uh, those are my nails. And they also match my earrings. My earrings also have the same little bear. Um, as well and they were also from Shein so I got the earrings first and then when I went and looked through their nail stuff and I saw the bear I, I had to have him I had to so there's that <laughs> little sidebar real quick okay so I'm buffing the shine off um, I'm going to use I think in the video she used a mixture of um, gel and acrylic I think that I just want to use all gel. I don't think I'm going to go back and forth. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to pull out the gel that I have and the gel that I'm using. Of course, not sponsored, but it is going to be the Young Nails Precision Gels in Concealer Pink. And then I'm going to use their Clear as well. And ah, I need plastic. Hold on. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. <laughs> so I just cut a little piece of a uh, sandwich bag. So hopefully that'll do what I needed to do. And okay, so yeah, so first I'm gonna start out with my concealer paint to do the pink part of this nail. And then I guess I will put some clear down and put a hollow powder in there. Now, I need to pull my hollow powder out. See, I was supposed to have everything ready. And of course, of course me, you know, all not ready, all hyped to do with me, pull all this stuff out. But anyway, okay, I'm back again. Okay, so I found, I can't find my other, I have, this one is almost out. And this is like the rainbowy silver holographic powder. And then this one, is a pretty black let's open that it's a oh salty thinking i'm about to show you something i haven't even opened this i didn't know i did oh i didn't know i didn't open it and now i'm making a mess okay so i don't know how well you can see that but that's like a black shimmery powder. We could try. And see, I be buying nail stuff, y'all. I don't even never use that. And I've had that for a long time. But I just be buying stuff. This one I think I have used at least once. Um, yeah, it's open. And there's the pretty gold. So I think we're gonna do one nail gold and one nail black. Maybe we can mix the black and the hollow together somehow. Or on all three. I don't know. We'll figure it out, y'all. Alright, so like I said, I'm gonna start with the concealer pink. And I think actually before I even go into that, I should put a base. Ooh! I'm being messy today. I'm so sorry. Let me calm down. I'm going to start with uh, 
their synergy gel base um, is this necessary I'm not sure but it's what I'm gonna do so that's what we're doing the nails have already been wiped with swipe I'm not gonna use protein bond because I am an actual nail tech and I don't want to waste it on a practice nail. It's okay if this nail comes off later down the road. So, yeah, I'm putting a base on. I don't really uh work with gels that often, like hard gels. Of course, I do gel polish, but most people where I'm at ask for you know acrylic or just like you know their natural nails to be done in gel polish or you know they just want regular 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 classic regular polish so um yeah I don't always get to use my precision gel but when I do I have a ball um, I don't know which I like more the gel or the acrylic I think it would be the acrylic even though the acrylic I do think is harder for whatever reason like it's just not necessarily hard, but it's more work, I guess. I don't know. I just feel like gel just files so easy. It's just easy to shape to me. I could be wrong because I'm about to do this video and this nail design could come out <laughs> all the way wrong. But, you know, we're going to try it and we're going to find out real soon. Okay base is on we don't need that anymore i'm going to put those in the light for 30 seconds and of course of course i have a young nails light 30 seconds mm -hmm. that tiktok has been in my head um i don't even really watch tv like that so and i know what adult swim is but i'm assuming that that song plays on there and that joint is a bop okay so, <laughs> so it'd be in my head and i feel like i don't even really be doing tiktok like that even though i want to i just don't so i'm about to do me that tiktok because i like it okay Back to the video. All right, we're doing our concealer pink, and I'm just going to squeeze a little out right here at the base, and I'm going to take the same brush. I got this brush from Amazon. It came in a kit for these little uh, gel glues, and I use it for more than the gel glue. So yeah. And I think I do have actual gel brushes, but I don't even remember where I got them from. I think I got them from eBay some years ago. So yeah, I'm just taking it and working it. Try not to bounce it too much because I believe I've heard that if you do, you could cause bubbles and we don't want those. We want a nice even pink. So that's what I'm doing here. And it might not be perfect, but that's okay. It will file. So I'm gonna put the same on the other nail. That should be enough. Alright y'all, my bad, this won't be in my head it's in my head 
I hope y'all can hear me well. The humming in the back is my air conditioner. It is 95 degrees today in Philly and the feel like temperature is 105. So I'm so sorry. I had it planned to record this video, but I was not cutting my air off for it. I'm sorry y'all. So y'all just gonna have to hear that hum in the background. I did turn it down, but I will be turning it all the way back up when we're done okay so i feel like my smile lines are not exactly the same but like i said this is all trial and error and i don't even use um gel like this all the time so you know we learn as we go so now i'm gonna cure this the light for I don't know I'm gonna do 60 I hope that's not too much I'm gonna do 60 seconds we're gonna make sure that that bad boy is cured okay think so far so good um i'm going to take oh you know what that's why they didn't do gel now i know why because you see i have the gel on here when i go to put these hollow powders on if i don't rub them correctly they're gonna hit this gel here and get stuck to it so this gel is a tacky layer right now so i'm actually going to not take it off i'm going to put the clear on crinkle the clear up and then when I'll swipe it off, I'm gonna try to just only swipe the wrinkly part and then put it on. And that way, if any gets on here, I can wipe it off with the sticky layer. That's what I'm guessing it might work out. If it doesn't work out that way, we'll improvise. Maybe we'll do some art over the, that part. But I shouldn't hit my pink with my powders, but you never know, because powder can get everywhere on the reels. So I'm gonna put a little bit not too too much just enough to spread it because we don't want a too thick nail so enough to spread it across but also give it a texture to be cured in. and I'm gonna do one at a time because I did not cut two pieces of plastic and I could but I have one here right now and that is what we're going with so I'm gonna take, I can't find my little pinchy thing right now. So because I didn't pull that out, I'm not gonna worry about it. But I'm gonna take, I got my plastic over my gel and I'm just gonna poke at it with my pusher and just kind of like scrunch it. Or maybe I should have balled this up first, I don't know. I feel like it's just kind of okay so I'm going to actually hold this and don't worry if it don't come out right we gonna do it again we gonna try it with the acrylic and all if we have to okay all right, so let's try, I think it keeps trying to smooth back out. All right, let's see if that works. I don't know that that's gonna do what I need it to do. I feel like that's gonna come off on the plastic, but let's put it in for 30 seconds and see what happens. Let's see, cause... <laughs> I got something. I don't even know if that's going to work because it's so high up off the nail. All right, let's just try the other nail first. All right, let's ball it up. Let's ball it up and see if that works on the other nail. I 
and this is not the like it's not the most crankly. Oh, it is crankling, I guess, a little bit. Is it? Okay, so there we have our crinkled paper. Let's see if I can put a little bit on this now and get a good effect with it. So we're gonna spread this out again and I'm just going to spread it because it doesn't have to be perfect anyway. So I'm not worried about the bubbles or anything here, but I do want to get a texture like don't be smooth i don't know if this this is a thick bag so i think crinkling it may have helped some okay so we put that on and now i'm gonna cure this one Ooh. as well for 30 seconds let's see Ooh. let's see now what this one gave us and i think this one definitely came out better um as far as like giving us texture so okay now what we want to do i'm actually going to take a small piece of paper towel and wipe that tacky layer off of the tips only this is alcohol Spray my alcohol and I'm gonna try to only rub the tip of the nail. Same on this one. We're only rubbing away the sticky layer from the bottom half. Now let's see if we can get these powders on here without um messing up the whole thing as a whole i think i'm actually when i do the clear i think i might cover the whole nail with the clear we'll see it, it depends it depends i don't know if that's a smart move or not it might be not even the whole nail but just like some of the pink right around the end part let me move my powders up so y'all can see but these are what we're working with I think that I want to do the black and this one together and I'll probably just do the gold on its own um, this came from the gold okay so I'm a little nervous now I don't even know why like what if it don't come up right and I have to do this thing all over again I mean I'm gonna do it if I have to look at how they that look a little creepy like static or something but I don't want it to be too much but I need it to look like it just looked like glitter I'm like listen here will get my finger going if I have to. Alright, so I've rubbed it in as much as I could and I think it does start to show through, which is nice. Now I try to dust away the extra powder. And then <laughs> brush got stuck to the pink side all right now I'm gonna take some of this black and brush it on this side and the tip and maybe over here even though that's probably gonna get filed down okay so brush that in the way I think that is actually pretty cool I think if a color was underneath it the black would show through a lot better but it's like a a matte charcoal 
but still shimmery kind of thing happening there. I think I want to try to still get some of this hollow up in the crevices. So I'm going to take this, if I can, and try to rub that in here good. Yeah, we just kind of like pushed it in there. So you get like a double effect there. I hope that comes out really pretty because it looks pretty already as it is in my eyes. I don't know how well it reads on the camera. Is it clear? Can you guys see? No, I can't block the light. Sometimes I feel like the light is, the way the light is, is not helping me either. It's just making it look real bright, like. We'll see. We'll see when I'm done what it comes out to be. Hopefully, it's super cute and then you guys can actually see it. All right, so for this one, we're just going to take the gold, gold only over here, and rub the gold in everywhere. And uh, yeah, maybe I could have used like a gel polish to get some color but I didn't and that's okay you can still see it okay so we have our gold on I think this one the way it cured it just cured so much better like the detail and the crinkle is much better all right so now what I'm gonna do is we are going to cover it all let me close up my powders cover it all in the um, clear sculpt. Try not to get these powders on my actual gel nails with these stuff. Okay. So putting this on I'm excited y'all now I'm excited I was nervous but now I think it's gonna be real real cute so I'm gonna put I'm actually being kind of generous now because I want to make sure I cover everything I don't let them go no one gel move all right so I'm taking my brush and this one I am going to be a little more calculated and careful with because I don't want bubbles. Okay. Sorry. This one kind of has a little bit of a hole too. And I'm just going to push it in there, but also put it on the top. I don't know if that's working, but we'll find out soon. Soon enough. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to take and cure what I have. I'm back to nervous now, because now I'm thinking about how I'm going to file it. I'm going to cure this one on 60 seconds, even though it's clear. I'm, I think I'm going to just, just to make sure we got a good cure, I'm going to cure it on 60 seconds. So they are now cured and I feel like, I don't know, we're going to go ahead and wipe it off and file it and see if there's any more gel we need to add or not. I think they're beautiful though, already, <laughs> already they are beautiful.
now they are cured. We're going to wipe them with the alcohol again to remove the sticky layer, do any other reshaping and filing that we need to do, and then put the top coat on. So, we have done the nails. Now it is time for the fun part, the end part, the end result. We are about to find out if these were fabulous or if they were a complete flop. So, let's see. <laughs> All right, so. I'm taking this a little beat up because it got um, acetone on it, but this is Young Nails uh, Ultimate Finish, I believe it's called. Top coat. I love this top coat. It is my favorite. I gotta say already and it ain't even it ain't even cured yet and it's so pretty I meant to do this on my own nails because I just I need to this is so cute Okay. Now we are going to cure them. And if I cannot get it on video, how um, beautiful they are, I will definitely take some good pictures and show you guys at the end. Um, I'm gonna try my best to show you on camera, but they are cute already. I'm so excited. I feel like they came out good, but I, you know, I, I want y'all's opinion. I want y'all to tell me was it fair or was it a flop? Did I do good? Uh, maybe I could have made some uh, better decisions. Does it matter that I use gel or acrylic? I think that that one little issue was the reason why they use the acrylic. Would you use the acrylic instead of oil gel just to guarantee you don't get the powder where you don't want it? Um, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let's have a conversation. If you like those, let's talk about it. <laughs> okay. Oh. And with that top coat, there is no wiping. And these are our nails. Oh my goodness. They are absolutely perfect. I should put the video in so that y'all can also see um, how theirs came out. I think they flash it kind of fast, but y'all get the effect just so you see it again. And even though this was a hole, it just is so perfect still. Like. And I like how you can still see the rainbow of the other one, but you still get the, the shimmery of the black. The gold is just is just so pretty. I have to do this on my own nails. I absolutely love this trend. I don't know who, what creative <laughs> nail tech came up with this idea, but when I seen it, it was like, like mind blown. Like, oh my gosh. So I had to try it. And I figure what, what what better way to try it than to put it in this nail series. So this is the first episode of IG Nail Trends. If there are some, maybe some other trends you would like me to try, you can link them below. Um, and 
yeah i will be back with another one this was so much fun i hope you guys enjoyed and had just as much fun watching as i had doing it um yeah so yeah that's the look i will put some pictures in the end thank you for watching <laughs> um thanks for having fun with me and please comment like subscribe share hit the bell um guys i am uh hoping to grow on my youtube channel i've been at it for i've been on and off it for years <laughs> for maybe about two or three years not too long compared to some people but um i'm here and i'm trying it again so yeah not too long compared to some people but this was fun so let's do it again i'll see you in the next one um all right bye <laughs>